Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Wednesday the 19th of January 2022 from St. Luke's Church, Eccleshill. Well, actually from the vicarage, of course. Uh, for today's service, what you'll need above all else is a Bible so that you can read the Word of God for yourself uh, and uh, take as long or as short as you want over doing that uh, because uh, it's your own time with God. Uh, you'll need to find a way of putting the video on pause for those things, so make sure that you've got the video remote in your hand. And of course we need the influence of God's Spirit. And so our service begins by inviting him into our hearts and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. In the week of prayer for Christian unity, we pray that denominations would be united, and of course they will only be united in the truth of our one Lord, Jesus Christ. Here's a hymn uh, from the 7th or 8th century of the Christian era. Christ is made the sure foundation, Christ the head and cornerstone. Christ is made the sure foundation, Christ the head and cornerstone, chosen of the Lord and precious, binding all the church in one. Holy Zion's held forever, and her Lord today as you chose us so refine us by your spirit's power we pray build us as your holy nation Christ in us beyond display we The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms set for us to read and meditate on and praise God with today are Psalms 81 and 147 verses 13 to the end. So here's a, a sung version of Psalm 81 to a traditional hymn tune, Shout with Joy to God Our Strength. Shout with joy to God our strength, raise your voices higher, shake the tambourine at length, pluck the harp and lyre, sound the horn at crescent moon on the day of feasting, God is surely coming soon, he is love unseen. Sold our burdened heart, set us free from slaving. Let 
Setters out, setters apart, showed his strength in saving. Answered us from thunder cloud, heard us in our weeping, warned us when our hearts were proud, showed us his safe keeping. I am God, your holy. And you might like to pause the video and reflect on those two psalms, using them to praise God. The Old Testament reading today is the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verses 1 to 14, the next part of the story of the flood in the book of Genesis. Please pause the video and read it in your own Bible. The New Testament reading uh, is in St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, and it's the end part of the chapter, verses 29 to the end. And again, please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. People have said, uh, wasn't Jesus an extreme apocalyptic? But actually, uh, a comparison of these chapters, both in Matthew and also in Mark and Luke, uh, between uh, them and other literature of the time, shows how very restrained the teaching of Jesus was. Of course, there's the lesson uh, from the flood in the middle of it, but it's mostly about keeping our heads rather than about lurid visions of what is to come. Uh, here's a hymn uh, to summarise uh, my emotions of a number of years ago as I read through this Bible passage. God the Lord of all creation, hear our thanks for all you made. Yet we see its tribulation now by you. Lord, it grieves us how our brothers swiftly turn from good and true. Break your laws and follow others, please themselves abandon you. God, our race once grieved your person as our evil ways emerged, as our morals sank and worsened. By your flood our world was purged Though the rainbow mocks your promise That your love will still endure Yet we find like doubting Thomas That we long to be more sure God we hear of Jesus' teaching Of the coming of the end Of the flash of lightning Cross the heavens which then descend Of the angels in their glory And the 
the sun and trumpet voice. Lord, in part we dread the story, and in part our souls rejoice. From the fig tree comes its lesson, when it buds the spring is near. So when wickedness is pressing, that's when Jesus will appear. No one knows about that instant when the earth will cease to be. Not the angels in bright raiment, not the sun, not even he. God the Father of creation, only you will end our days. Keep us safe from devastation, keep us walking in your way. And so let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that uh, we are reminded annually of the need to pray for other denominations. We lament the way that Christians have been divided down the ages, and we pray that you would help us to be united around the central truths of the Christian faith, the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus, and the transformation which he brings in the human heart. Help us not to water down the faith to make it more acceptable, but help us to focus on the main elements of it in order that we may find you and be united in your presence through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for the wonders of creation which you have made and we also lament before you the mess that we have made of looking after them. As we read the flood story, uh, we continue to give you our thanks for your redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus uh, and we lament the fact that we continue to need to repent and come to you. Help us to have uh, open hearts to you that we may be able to receive your mercy and be transformed by your spirit. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So please pause the video and put before God the things which are on your own heart at the moment. The Collect, the special prayer for this week after the second Sunday of Epiphany. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray as Jesus taught his first disciples using the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may we be faithful and wise servants, anticipating the coming of our Lord, and with our lives in order, ready to meet him. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.